Hey everybody, welcome back to Extreme Heat Beat Reviews. I am Extreme Heat Beat. I am here today to bring you the third review of this amazing Baylor Sri Lankan hot sauce from Truly Gillard on Nukes, any UK's Facebook page. Now she was kind enough to send me three bottles of sauce to review. I've already reviewed the lemon pepper sauce and the sweet sauce which was a mild and a medium sauce and i'm now going to be reviewing the hot sauce out of our range and it is this one the uh jaffna jaffna lime sauce yeah jaffna lime sauce as per usual the labels are really catchy nice colors nice design that elephant looks pretty funky a nice little white flower on the a of baila now if you don't know what baila means according to my sri lankan shopkeeper next door baila means music so i'm really hoping like the previous two sources that this sauce is going to be music to my ears and I'm actually quite looking forward to this because I'm a big fan of green sauces. And this one's got a nice green colour to it. Now, green sauces suggest that they'll be good with tacos. Anything green goes well with tacos, obviously. But I'm looking forward to this one. There's a medium thickness in the, the bottle. I'll remove these glasses quickly while I give you a bit of a the information so my jaffia jaff jaffna lime sauce really packs a punch this perfect blend of citrus and chili is packed full of fresh ingredients that brings a color to into the kitchen and onto your plate experience a unique unique taste of handcrafted small batches regards trudy uh calories this has got uh typical calories per hundred serving 750 wow oh no 177 calories per 100 mil serving i've got that completely wrong now i was about to say 750 calories per hundred. Oh, that's a lot but no 177 no uh, oh that was a close call uh ingredients wise we got water broccoli now i have never ever ever had a hot sauce with the ingredient broccoli now i love broccoli my son he loves broccoli my partner she loves broccoli but yeah broccoli apples red wine vinegar spinach lime zest and juice kissel jaggery palm sugar what the heck is kitchen jaggery an unusual ingredient i've never had a sauce which contains that ingredient either uh, ginger bird's eye chili and salt for allergens there is no allergens prepared in the domestic kitchen therefore may contain traces of allergens but there is none stated on the bottle so all good now i will now put my spectacles back on and let's crack this open and let's see if this as the name suggests is music to my ears and music to my taste buds that's that that's cracked open wow look at that look at that color of that green you see that greenness in the bottle that that is coming from the broccoli and the spinach the two main green ingredients in this sauce how vibrant that green is wow i'll grab myself a, a spoon okay the pores the pores are all right nice consistency there we go 
Look how vibrant that green is on the blue spoon. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm picking up so many things just by smelling it. Oh, get down me. Right, ooh, ooh. here comes the heat of those bird's eyes. Ooh. So, taste wise, now you've got the bitterness of that broccoli and that spinach. Now, broccoli and spinach are quite bitter vegetables. So, you've got the bitterness of that. And then you've got a zing of lime which goes boing, straight through you. Wow. Which has a nice freshness to it. And then the bird's eye chilies sit on the back of your throat and make their way forward. And it's going to lick your taste buds up. Wow. That's another sensation to it. It's really, really unusual. Now, for my first time ever tasting a broccoli, a sauce with broccoli in. It's a taste experience. I'm not going to get you wrong. It is unusual on, on the old taste buds. But it works. That's the main thing. It works. It works well with the spinach. And what else we got? And then that. Kittle jiggery. I wish I knew what a kittle jiggery tastes like. To compare it to what's in this sauce, but it is still damn tasty. Don't get me wrong, it is good. It tastes really, really good. And this will go really, really well on tacos, as I suggested at the beginning of the video. It'll go really, really, really well with tacos. Now, LG from Ethanol Gaming Community, he is a big taco fiend, and I'm pretty sure when I next see him and he tries this, he's going to go get me a bottle of that. Get it on my tacos, get it on my burrito, get it in my burritos. You know, <laughs> he's going to say, get it on that. And you can purchase a bottle of this at www.bayer.com. I'll leave the information right there in the description below. You've really got to get it, you've really got to taste this. You've got to try the other two in her range as well, which is the Lemon pepper sauce, which is really, really good, that one. And the equally amazing sweet sauce. That was really, really good too. So all three of these sauces are really, really good. So good, I'll go back for another spoon. Does it go that comes out of the bowl? Yeah, it could be a bit off-putting to some people that it, the thickness... You know, some thick sauces are really good sauces. Better to be thick and thin and full of vinegar than be thick and full of flavour. Oh. Here comes that zing of that lime again. Ooh. It balances well with them bird's eye chilies. And the broccoli and the spinach, really, really good. Anyway, that has been my review of the Baya chili sauce, Jafan, Jafana lime sauce. Go check that out on her website. And now, please remember to give me a big thumbs up saying enjoy this video. Please share your friends and family. Smash that red button, turn it grey, not to do. Keep on subscribing for more artisan sauce reviews from me. Extreme heat, Pete. Uh, that's it, guys. So please go check out bio.com and check out the amazing sources. Also, check her out on any UK and look out for any special offers she may be producing on that page. For now, I have been Extreme Heat, Pete. I'll catch you all later. See ya.
Bye.